Okay, so I'm just making a really quick video just to kind of pop this up from a few things by you. I, uh, as I said before, there'll be uh, weekly announcements and I'll list everything that you need to complete for the, the class, right? It'd be pretty simple, right? There are links to assignment two. Right? Assignment two needs to be done before exam one. Uh, there's a section two quiz, a section three, section four, and a section five quiz that I'll be due before exam one, two, but I'll be putting them in, you know, say uh, the announcement for next week. Uh, and then I might have a list of things that need to be completed before exam one. There might be just one announcement. Uh, <clears throat> just want to make clear, like all the assignments are in the assignment folder, all the quizzes are in the quiz folder. The content, right, contains all the <clears throat> stuff that we're covering. I, I tend to link most of the stuff that's in the content section <clears throat> uh, in the in the announcements. But if you don't use the link, they're all here. There's concept videos. Right, I made the bonds, and the, just recently there's a macromolecule section uh, five will deal with cell respiration. Um, anyway, um, the assignment videos <clears throat> are there in the content section as well as the questions that you need to complete for each assignment. But if you will go to assignments, if I link it, uh, everything for assignment two will be in the assignment folder too. Right, if you uh, <clears throat> Right. Here's a link to the assignment questions in the content section. This takes you to the video that I want you to watch. When you're done putting the answers to your assignment questions, then in this number two assignment folder, there's a place to upload your assignment. So you just put it there, upload it. Be sure it's the file that has your answers. You might want to double check the file before you upload it that you saved your answers. That's an issue sometimes. And then I thought I'd uh, quickly talk about the lab, uh, since everybody's taking either me or you're taking uh, Brian Alexander, right? So Brian and I discussed this morning, he's okay with uh, the concept of, we're keeping track of your uh, attendance, and uh, <clears throat> at the end of the semester, uh, for 10 of the, the labs, there won't be any more than 10, will give you two points for each lab you attend. Now we might do some things online and we'll decide what to do about that, uh, two points for that. If, if we don't have a lab and say, you, we, we might give you a, an online assignment. So it's just, this is a hybrid lab, just like, uh, well, I'm teaching a hybrid class too, but you guys, they're not watching this video. But anyway, the, uh, <clears throat> So the first lab, we you know went over the lab syllabus. So if you didn't attend that lab, you know look over the syllabus. We watched these two videos. I'm not sure what Brian's doing, uh, but that's what I did. This is my lab that I'm doing. And uh, the PMP, there's two sets of instructions or a video for the uh, PMP stain instructions, and then there's a video for the biochemical test, and then there's a PMP instructions for both and they're separated on those instructions. So there's more than enough. If you're not quite sure, after you listen to my explanation for PMP and after you listen to Brian's explanation for PMP, if you still have questions, you can watch these videos or follow those instructions. So it's up to you. Uh, but, you know, each PMP, when you go, it's in the quiz section. So right here. Uh, they're not quizzes, but each one will be a short answer question, let's say, for the principle. It's worth a total of four points. It'll, it'll say, what is the principle of the negative stain? Right, for the gram stain PMP, it'll say, what is the principle of the negative stain? There'll be a window to put your, your principle there. And the reason that this is in the quiz section instead of the assignment section is because it lists Right, the answer for the 
the uh, principle for the negative stain would be nigrosine, which is a negatively charged stain. Because it's negatively charged, it will not penetrate the bacteria because they're negatively charged. So the bacteria don't get stained. They appear colorless, right? So colorless should be there, and the background is black should be there to get all the points. You should use complete sentences in your principle, not so much for the purpose. The purpose is in the PowerPoint. Don't, you shouldn't miss that by any means, but that's worth one. And as long as you put this in complete sentences, then you can earn the four points. If they're copy and pasted, then you might only get three of the four. Uh, so anyway, uh, I just quickly go over P and P assignments and you know that idea. We're going to be doing the the lab quizzes in the lab, and uh, they'll there are they're fill in the blank. But I told Brian that maybe he could read a couple of those questions prior to taking the the quiz. So. If you're early and you know you're there when the quiz is taken, then you might get a little benefit from that. And then we're only deducting one point for each wrong answer, so uh, that means that you'll be given anywhere from sometimes it's five points uh, that are just sort of curved into the right. There'll be five. Let's say if there's ten fill in the blanks, and I can only deduct one point for each blank, then. 10 points will be given to you, right? Because we won't deduct more than what the blanks are. Anyway, you'll, you'll learn about that when we take a quiz. All right, so anyway, I just want to make a quick video for you. And good luck. Uh,